There are concerns that pro-Palestine encampments at Australian universities could turn violent if allowed to continue. Pro-Palestine and Israeli supporters clashed on campus yesterday. Live to Holly Stearns at the University of Melbourne. What's it like there today, Holly? Well, Kieran, it's a lot calmer here today and paints a very different picture behind me here to what we saw unfold yesterday. This morning and today, moving into lunchtime, we've just seen uh, the encampment here, people inside the encampment waking up and sitting quite peacefully. But yesterday, it was different scenes, Kieran. We saw tension escalate between pro-Palestine protesters and Israeli supporters as well here at the encampment. If you can see the narrow moat behind me, that was actually the centrepiece for this stand off here yesterday. Let's show you now some footage of that yesterday. Kieran, it's important to note that we're also hearing reports of pro-Israel protesters uh, storming in on an encampment at Monash University as well. But universities have been heavily criticised over their handling here from both sides of the protest here. But Jewish students say they don't feel safe coming to campus. They want universities to put immediate protocols in place to ensure they are adequately protected while on campus. The Australian Jewish Association says that the Albanese government has been missing in action when it comes to this issue. Opposition leader Peter Dutton says that the government and the university response has been weak. But this, is, this is the 1930s over again and if we don't call it out, uh, if we don't start to respond and to bring this to an end, this continues to go on and on and right. on and it is targeted at people because of their heritage or their faith. The pro-Palestine movement that's been making headlines in the US is very much being mirrored here right across Australia. There are concerns, though, that these protests and encampments could become violent, like what we're seeing in the US. Students have got a right to feel safe from Nagoon University. University, you are allowed to have freedom of speech, but when freedom of speech crosses the line into bullying and to victimisation, then that's not freedom of speech. Now, the University of Melbourne says that it welcomes peaceful protests and, of course, debate too. But there are widespread concerns, though, as I mentioned, about these encampments potentially turning violent in the near future. Kieran.